today we start to look at geometric constructions. Geometric constructions are constructions that will generally require you to use your compass. So once you're hearing construct, you know that special reference is being made to your compass. We will do five constructions in this lesson. Uh, we will look how to make a line parallel to a given line. We will look at bisecting any given line. We will look at producing a perpendicular from a point on a line. Then we will do producing a perpendicular from a point that is suspended above a line. And then finally we will look at bisecting any given angle. So let's start with number one. For number one, you will see that there are two lines on your page. We will start by being given a line, that's the horizontal line that I'm highlighting at the bottom. And that line should be represented as a construction line. So let me just turn off the blue lines that you're seeing. So if you look now, you will see a construction line represented on the page. The distance between the parallel lines will be 25 millimeters. So in this instance, you will set your compass at 25 millimeters, place your compass anywhere on the given line, and scribe this arc at the top. You will then do the same thing from somewhere further across the line. If the line is really long, you may ascribe three, maybe even four arcs. But in this instance, you're just required to use two arcs. Once you have scribed these arcs to complete the construction, you will draw a line using your ruler, set square, T square, that will barely touch the circumference of the curve at the top. And that line will end up being parallel to the line that you were given. So once you see me drop this line back in now, this line barely touches the top, and this line ends up being parallel. Uh, relatively simple construction that you should be able to complete. Construction number two. You're given a line, and you're required to bisect that line. Again, in this instance, you're given a line. I will turn off the outline. So in this instance, you're given this line. You could name it if you want. This is your construction line on your page. You will then open your compass to a convenient radius. Convenient in this instance will mean that you open the compass to more than half the line. So you can estimate that distance. Compass then goes to the end of the line and you will scribe an arc at the top, come down, do the same at the bottom. Compass is kept at the same radius. You go to the other end of the line and you scribe same arc, other side. So these two arcs will intersect. And if you draw a line through the point of intersection between these two arcs, you will have cut that line exactly in half. So when you see it now, you will see the outlines, the finished lines that represent the bisecting of that line. The next construction for us will be to draw a line that is perpendicular. Perpendicular means right angles. So again, if you look at the page, you look at the example that we're going to be doing. You have a construction line, and this yellow line crosses that construction line to highlight the point where you want the perpendicular line to be drawn from. First thing you will do is open your compass to a convenient radius. Convenient generally means not too big, not too small. So you go to that center point where you want the perpendicular to be drawn from and you scribe an arc to the left and you scribe another arc to the right of that center point. Once you've done that, you will open your compass to a slightly bigger radius. And it's important to remember to a slightly bigger radius. Once you've done that, you go to these points of intersection where that first arc cut the line on, on your page and you will put compass point, scribe an arc now at the top, like so, and come to the other point, compass open, same distance, scribe another arc to intersect. And where these arcs intersect, you will then be able to draw through that point of intersection down to the first point and that will give you your perpendicular in position. 
not the outlines will be the line that you were given as well as the perpendicular line next construction will require you to drop a perpendicular from a point that's suspended somewhere above a line so again let's turn off some of the lines for you and you will see that you're given this line represented in yellow however we know how our how our construction lines are supposed to look so let me just make sure that you can see it as a construction line so you have this line represented as a construction line the first thing that you will do point is suspended above the line so let's say that that point is suspended 30 millimeters above the line you will place compass at that point open your compass to somewhere below the line a convenient distance and then you will scribe the arc to cut that line in two places so you can see where those cuts are here and here that's the intersection that you want to work with you will keep the compass open to the same distance go to the points of intersection and now scribe arcs below the line so you have here now and here these red arcs at the bottom and you can now line up these to give you the perpendicular line so once you've done that then if I drop back in the outlines then you will see the perpendicular looking something like this uh, when you draw you will just make sure that you end at the line and not extend the perpendicular all the way down like I have on this piece the next construction for you is to bisect any given angle in this instance you have an angle you can draw whatever angle you want on the page and once you've drawn that angle then these are your construction lines representing the angle the next thing you will do go to the intersection of the two lines open compass to a convenient radius and scribe this curve this yellow curve is a construction line drawn in with your compass and you will immediately see that there are two points of intersection because these points of intersection are what are most critical for you you will keep your compass open to the same distance and you will go to these points of intersection now and you will scribe these red arcs remember these are still construction lines these are just colored for your understanding so you scribe these two arcs to intersect and then you will draw a line from the angle through the point of intersection to give you the complete midpoint for the arc. So you have now cut this angle directly in half. I want you to try these constructions, play with them a little bit. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to bringing you another lesson uh, in the not too distant future.